Okay, okay, we're on gold here this morning. So we have a couple time frames we look at. This is our trend chart. Our trend chart is a longer wrinkle bar. You can see that I use a nine sim wrinkle bar. And we all know the unique thing about this wrinkle bar, uh, the reason it's so powerful is that I have a trend filter built into the wrinkle bar. It's not like a standard bar that uh, all, uh, most traders use on a wrinkle bar. So if you try to match up a wrinkle bar with this, it's not even going to come close. Um, so the beautiful thing about using this wrinkle bar is the accuracy with the oscillators and the indicators we use with it. So if you look at this little uh, oscillator or indicator at the bottom, I like to use it for full retracements to show you when we're in a possible full retracement. Now, we do have an uh, algorithm that you can backtest all the trades that this system takes. You can look at all the uh, hundreds or thousands of trades that the system will take with your parameters that you actually put in that we're getting out to you traders. And this is one of the uh, indicators that I have that is uh, already programmed into the algorithm. And what it does is this very simply, um, I don't use moving averages for support and resistance. I think they're absolutely worthless. We all know that. Um, or I don't want to even use them for uh, crossover systems. I do like the first cross of certain moving move averages on the first retracement. We all know that. But I, I use mainly moving averages for trend direction. So we use this uh, nine sim Renko for uh, this larger time frame. We call it a trend chart. What that means is I look at the uh, the longer uh, and longest MA is the magenta MA, intermediates your white MA, and the um, the dotted white line is the smaller MA. So very simply, you can see we're in a downtrend. If your small is below your intermediate, intermediate below your larger, you're in a downtrend all morning since uh, midnight in gold. So what that tells you is your bias is what? Your bias is down. You don't take any bias setups or you deserve to lose ticks, period. The only time you'll take a counter trend trade against this trend chart is with market profile if you get back in developing profile, which we all know how to do as members. So that's the only time you'll counter trend trade the market. Counter trend traders are to me the sheep that get slaughtered. Uh, they try to keep buying the low uh, and trying to sell the high and they try to jump in front of the runaway train or try to catch the falling knife. If they keep counter trend trading, then they're going to continue to lose ticks and create order flow for us. So we don't like to counter trend trade. Around 80, 85% of our trades are trend retracements. So if we know that we are trend retracement traders, then we need to know what spots in the market we need to generate uh, entries. And that's what this little oscillator down here uh, helps out, and I do have that built into the algorithm. It lets me know when I'm at a what's called a full retracement. Uh, when these automated arrows come up, they usually come up between my sweet spot of 50 to 76% retracement. And what this oscillator does, it helps you out to understand uh, where that those are possibly going to happen. So the easy way to look at it is I got 90% up here at the top. I got 10% here at the bottom. <clears throat> and very simply on the trend chart, when you get to 90, if you're in a uptrend or downtrend, which you are, we're in a downtrend, this morning on gold, you get to this level, you're going to look for market delta to turn. And once market delta turns here, negative market delta, there's Catch the retracement. All right, so if you look on the next one, what we got here is we got uh, um, we almost had a full retracement here, but we did not make it. So if you look at it, that's not a full retracement. But the next one, we get a full retracement. Sure enough, if you take a look, the negative market delta with my trend filter caught the high again. So you can see those were the two biggest trades, our largest moves, I'm sorry, for the morning session so far. And that's based upon my larger time frame. Now, what you can do is you can actually look at taking setups off of a smaller time frame. So what we want to do, Jai, and the rest of you traders, is that if I know my large trend chart, let me put this as a trend chart. 
this is the trend of the market. I don't want to counter against this this uh, this time frame. So put that as a little big for you. So we know the trend chart right here is down. All right. So we want to look for if you want to look for uh, in between these levels and try to find setups. Let's say you want to try to find setups not on the larger time frame but on a smaller time frame with a larger uh, time frame trend. You can do that very simply by going to small time frame. Let's say if we're trying to sell this high or sell this high or sell this high. What you can do, since we know this is a larger time frame retracement, the, the moves are going to be more pronounced. They're going to be larger moves. But what you can do is you can go into a smaller time frame now. I can say, hey, okay. Let's go since midnight and let's look at the last eight and a half hours. Let's look at the last eight and a half hours and say, hey, where's the highest probability trades? And if you break it down, I'll blow this up so you can see it a little bit better. Break it down. Let's just take a look at the cell retracements. We know my symmetry dots cause natural resistance, the red dots in a downtrend. But you can see on my smaller time frame, this is what's called a five Simrenko. These templates are automatically made for you, by the way. And works on these work this system works on all markets so this really helps traders a lot knowing where the spots in the market they need to trade so if I look at that retracement it coincides with my Fibonacci arrow and on resistance and negative market delta that was a setup I go to the next one here let me blow these up blow this up so you can see what I'm talking about very simple to do very simple to see and the executions very uh, very easy to execute on a retracement. Now here's the next one. Look at the next one with my arrow. Next one's here on the bottom. Oscillator came up to the full retracement. I actually had a fib arrow that printed, automated fib arrow that printed, negative market delta, more supply than demand between the bid and the ask. Look at the sell off. You have the next one. I look at the next one, there's my there's my retracement, there's my negative market delta, caught the next one. So you can see what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to sell retracements. This this uh, indicator at the bottom will let me know when I'm at a full retracement. So I caught one, two, three. This one is four in a row. There's four in a row. The next one caught five in a row, negative market delta. The next one caught six in a row. And the next one caught seven in a row. Now we're working on the eighth in a row. We haven't had negative market delta again. So you're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven in a row on the past eight and a half hours. So that is what you're looking at. You're looking at trying to sell or buy retracements with overall trend direction. And that is what that indicator can help you at the bottom with. Okay. And that's using a larger time frame and a smaller time frame together. So I put them beside each other like this because then you can see if you're into a buy or sell retracement. So you can skinny it down and you can see our last larger time frame was a nice little sell off. Now once you get to understand that concept, you can actually add more bells and whistles. Then we look at market profile. We had a break retest trade over here in market profile at 730. You got to be blind as a bat not to realize that's a sell setup if you're a market profile trader because we like to look for a break retest trade. We like to look to break. We like it to rotate back up and we like to see the sell off. So if that rotation back up, you're catching a lot of rolling position traders. You want to look for what? You want to look for a full retracement right here at that retracement. So let's go ahead and take a look at our small time frame and see if we got confluence. If I look at that level, when we pop back up, did we have confluence? Look how beautiful that is right there when market profile confluted with this. Now you're talking about two totally, or three totally separate, actually four times confluence separate indicators. I have my full retracement down here that tells me it's a sell. I got my symmetry dot resistance that tells me it's a sell. I got market profile that just broke and retested that's a sell. And then I got negative market delta that just told me it's a sell also. And that's how you produce these type of moves. And that's just order flow, guys and gals. That's not my opinion. That's not your opinion. This is the order flow of the market. These indicators are leading indicators. They're not lagging. Moving averages are lagging. I use them for a trend direction. 
So on this these cell setups this morning, every since if you look since uh, midnight, we have not crossed up at all on the moving averages on a, the smaller time frame. So as a gold trader, if you took any longs, shame on you. Guess what? The smarter traders deserve to take the ticks from you. The more educated traders. You got to be educated about this stuff. Trading, you're not born a trader. There's no traders that are born. But you got to be educated about this stuff. You got to understand trend retracements are the way to go, not counter trend trading. And that's why the system works so well. I mean, look at the accuracy since midnight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Going on nine in a row right now. Nine in a row since midnight. All right. So that is what we're trying to accomplish as traders. We're trying to get in the rhythm buying retracements with trend direction. And I will teach you how to do counter trend trades, but you got to use market profile. And the only time you can counter trend trade, if you get back inside developing profile, we had a couple of big trades yesterday on crude that way. I went over with Larry yesterday how to do it. That's the only time I would counter trend trade the market.